Mr. Jane. I've spent a few days really trying to make something special for you guys. Space Chip, how are you doing, Space Chip? What's up, brother? Good to see you. You're well. I have been working on this very, very specific modded um, Kerbal Save, guys. Um, when I first Peter Dallas. Oh my god, it's a discount engineer raid. One mission. Save the world. Oh my god. Hello guys, how you doing? Well, I'm doing very well. I'm not quite ready yet. I need a few minutes to get ready, guys, but I'm, I'm still prepping to sit down. But, um... mods list. I have a new save that I've made. How's everyone doing? like alternate timelines and alternate history guys i'll be starting shortly guys we have everyone here discount here space our buddy space chip guys our bro space chip is here discount engineer there's a lot of other people here too I still need coffee. I'm getting ready, guys. I'll be ready shortly. The game's loading up. Enjoy the jams. I'll be back. sound everybody I have some weird audio things going I want to make sure there's no echoes or anything if anyone could tell me that'd be awesome there is a now ch check this out can you hear the music now You can hear the music, but it's very faint. Okay, what about this? How about now? Okay. Okay. 
we'll go with the old way. Guys, I totally... Now we have just me, just me speaking, and there's no echo, right? All the dreaded ads. All the ads. Well, for all of you subscribers, hello. Are you doing? Oh, thank you, discount. I, you know, I, I forget that I'm a trained graphic artist all the time. And, uh, you know, I, 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 I like to, um, I created this out of a series of um, collages. But that's basically what's going to happen, guys. Remember I told you discount that I'm going to make some art, some promotional materials for um, our, our little event we're going to do? Well, I was sort of practicing for this. You know? Um, yeah, I, I always, guys, I always forget I'm a trained artist. You know? Easy to forget. I mean, I'll bet you guys have skills that you are trained in that you are, that you just think are natural, you know? Like Bishimoto's understanding of chemistry, not normal at all. Discount's understanding of plumbing is uh, superhuman. The fact that he knows what a kilopascal is, or whatever the hell, or pascal. The only pascal I know is the guy from, is the actor, Pedro Pascal. That's it. I know not. All right, guys, we're getting into this. Do you really? There's Jebby boy. This is an entirely new save, okay? I have a I have a redeem for you guys to join um, join the save and be colonists, okay? Because we need colonists, so we're gonna have you guys as the colonists. And then we're going to have a separate tier for people who are, let's say, uh, moderators and VIPs and, and etc. Who will be the, the the commanders of the mission, which I'm not going to do a redeem for that right now. So, um, all that mod redeem, that redeem is, is for nor normal people, not VIPs or uh, moderators, okay? So if you'd like to be a colonist in this playthrough, please redeem that. I think I have to edit the um, the CFG file for um, proper colonist to, to name you guys properly. So right now, you guys will be adopting or sponsoring a colonist, okay?
Now guys, I have some very special mo part mods in here. No, they are not normal. Anyone who's a mod or a VIP in here is is not normal. Is not your normal Twitch viewer, and they're not your normal KSP player. Figure this out, guys. Get this nonsense song out of here. Bye bye. Bye bye, song. All right, let's see if this works. I know we're dropping frames, guys. All right. All right. Want that there? Look at how gorgeous that looks. Where am I? Am I here? Am I even here, guys? Am I? Am I here? I'm here, guys. Look at this. Oh, uh, all right. So we may. This is a very modded save, guys. This is probably the biggest modded save I I have ever done. And uh, there's a mod command up there if you want to check it out. KSP mod list. Uh, super cool stuff. Right. Okay. So let me close El Photoshop. -o. And how's everybody going? Um, discount. I saw you playing Phoenix Point. It looks super cool. It reminds me of games I used to play as a young man. Remember how you found out about games back in the day? It was just like you walked into someone's house and they were playing a game and you're like, what is that? Or, or something. Looks like it. I don't know. Calling it PP though is weird, but all right. Oh, scorched earth, man. Uh, that was, oh my God. Uh, that was a big dude. Scorched earth was a big deal in my, in my great game circle. So tomorrow, uh, I don't know 
if I shared this with you guys or not, but I am going to the doctor because I've been having a, uh, a problem with my hand, um, these two fingers, my thumb and my index finger are, uh, have been going numb on me. And uh, I'm going to a, a doctor to get that checked out. So if you've noticed that I haven't been playing as much guitar that I normally do, uh, that is a reason. So I, I have been experiencing some um, some problems and um, I'm going to be getting them fixed. And Phoenixia, how you doing? Hello. Hello. Good morning. Thanks for coming by. Mm -hmm. Ah, well, I hope everyone's well. Well, there you go. Thank you for that. discount well i'm gonna i'm gonna um do a little jam and then we're gonna start this game up right you guys can uh you can deal with it or uh you know or do what most people do and watch urban and me at the same time the guitar is cutting out all right thank you jingle good to know uh, I think my battery might be uh, effed up. But I am, my system seems to be lagging a little bit. So. Yeah, you know what? It's actually not even being picked up. Hold on. Guys, everything's messed up. Device is not connected. Well, that's wrong. How's that, baby? How's that, baby? Yeah, you were, it was just picking up through the mic, I guess. That babe. Hey Jay, what's up, bro? What's up, 
hurts my bro Philip the third Did my cat just make a sound? I think I just wheezed. I just wheezed and um, I didn't even know it was me. I wheezed and didn't know it was myself, guys. All right, we got a lot of fun here, dudes. Dudettes, ladies, brosifs. I, we I just wheezed and um, distracted myself. Guys, I hope it sounds good. Everything's fucked up on my end. So. <laughs> Jay, how's the um, how's the stream going? I've always wanted to play that ga game. Um, when I was, you know, when I was a bartender, I knew this girl who would come in, and she told me that she was in between jobs, and I was like, "Well, what, what do you do for for money?" And she's like, "Well, I get unemployment, but I I, I play." Uh, I, I play that game and um, and I didn't know this but she was a big streamer on Twitch before and I had no idea that she was but she stopped and got a real job because she was like my brain she said her brain was going to to um, to mush playing that every day but she was like a you know a, a driven and um, you know like uh, a, a highly successful person in whatever she did. So it doesn't doesn't surprise me that she would have been a, a big streamer. It's been going good, 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 good. All right, resume saved. I want to show you guys what I've been working on. Um, so in this save, I have, this is sort of a save that I've been trying to create Um. I guess my whole life. Oh, she was very attractive. That that probably didn't hurt. She was also very, very, very smart. I might have to change how I play guitar. Um... Oh, absolutely. And Jay, um, you know, it, it's an entirely different experience to stream something that you're not good at or, or proficient at. Um, which I try to do all the time, so so I'm I'm comfortable comfortable with it. But you know, when when you don't know what to do, it um, even even a room, you know, uh, ten people, it, it, it can feel kind of daunting, you know. So guys, uh, we got a lot of stuff going on here in this save. Um, we have a lot of mods. Um, we have the full, we have a USI colony and life support. We have blue shift, which gives us warp drives and uh, sort of uh, uh, little wormholes. And um, we also have um, the UFO mod and the airship Heisenberg mod. Um, all working together, but we also have this very cool part mod um, called Blue Dog. And is anyone familiar with Blue Dog part mods?
Oh yeah, yeah. This is it, it's a huge, huge vast. It's got over a thousand part mods to it. Um, it is so accurate and and nice. And I found out about it through watching one of N9's videos where he uh, did did a moon mission. And I was wondering where he got all these. Um... No, RSS. I have RSS installed. I had to downgrade that save quite a bit uh, visually is what it was doing. Um, but this is a normal one. Uh, and the normal Kerbin universe. I was going to do JNSQ stuff, but the minute you start to change the map like that, I, 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 I get a lot of problems. But um, but this is a very amazing uh, part. Mod. It has um, uh, like look at all of these different types of communication satellites. But you do have to use um, the old janitor's closet. Yeah, no, the RSS that. Uh, kind of broke my computer uh, when I was trying to do the, um, the RSS Reborn. Um, after the, the stream died, I had to boot my system back up. And then I, I, I redid it, and it, the same thing happened during the load. It, it just froze my system up um, for over an hour. So I did that a few times, and I, I decided to just make a normal RSS um, save, which I have on this PC. But then that got me thinking about, you know, Bishimoto, I've always sort of hinted around at this sort of airships and aliens type of save. Um, so this is, this is going to be it. <laughs> episode one so um but blue dog is listen guys it's amazing um actually i, I want to show off blue dog a little bit um i want to i want to show you guys the potential of it i'm going to open up the r d save yeah episode one guys i also uh just a, a quick recap okay But we have ScanSat, okay? Everyone's favorite mod. I mean, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm, it, what mod is cooler than ScanSat? Tell me. I'm listening. <laughs> Ishimoto, do you think see here's the thing I've I discovered when I have a hard time personally um with when I resize stuff there's this resize issue that comes into play with everything and it's a big issue. Um Okay, well JNSQ is cool, but beyond that um bastard. you bastard how dare you he dares folks
Why is, oh, I know why. So guys, I sent up um, I sent up two surveys, okay, and I did a couple missions. So I also have probes before, like uh, that mod where you have to do probes. Weird. Um, before you do manned missions, all right. So right now we have two of these. it who knows the riff guess the riff guess the riff guys i know someone knows it come on i know someone knows it so this is part of the b9 part mod uh which is very nice guys um and so are these solar panels and so is this little guy on the top as well got a little crew hatch on it look at it. um one of the cool things about some of these parts is they're very well made and you'll notice they have rcs jets built into them very cool stuff hold on i gotta pee guys i gotta pee i'll be right back don't worry uh Tune in. We're going to go for a long time.
Oh my god, guys, I'm a fool. I'm sorry. I wound up getting in a conversation. I, I forgot I was streaming. All right. So, um... So what we're doing up here is... The number... So that's this one. You ever do that, Jay? You go, you, you, you go to the bathroom and you uh, forget you do. I am a towel. How do you know? But what I'm doing is tell it um, low. First, we're doing the low band uh, telemetry scans. So, all right, what I got to do, Jay, is we need to build a reliable lifter. Uh, Jay, I hope so. I mean, this is... This is the game I want to play. Uh, it has... It has warp drives in it from Blue Shift. It has uh, UFOs and saucers from the saucer mod. It has um, airships dirigibles from the Heisenberg mod. It's got... Uh, USI colony um, features and life support. Um, and I have scientific uh, scanning. And we have contract packs. We have stations and bases plus, which uh, will allow us to um, keep modifying a single station around each sphere of influence. Uh, we have persistent rotation which is my compromise. Instead of having Principia, we'll have persistent rotation. So our stations and certain vehicles uh, will never sort of non rent well, will not render, but they'll always be persistently moving, which will be cool when we're doing some docking and stuff like that. I have probes before crew. Uh, actually, I got I got everything here, hold on. So this is the mod slip. A lot of stuff here. I mean, it's honestly... <clears throat> well, Jay, my goal is, what we're gonna do is, this is gonna be a long-term save, yeah, very long-term. Um, you guys are gonna be colonists. So um, hopefully, in a month or so down the road, I'm going to have some sort of like uh, meetings on Discord with you guys about what you guys want to do with your colonists. So, um, I'm going to build some lifters. We'll, we'll, we'll choose some contracts. We have the USI colony. We can do contracts or we can, we, we don't have to do contracts. I injected, this is a career save, but what I did was I injected, um, the maximum amount of money. And I put the uh, buildings at the highest tech level. So I call this a utopia save. So it's basically a science save, but we don't have to worry about money and we get contracts. So the only thing we got to worry about is leveling up Kerbals, leveling up our colonists so they can do stuff off world and, um, and their reputation. 
but we can do we can make we can accept missions or we cannot accept missions and we're going to have a place on discord where you guys can suggest missions right and what we'll do is say say jay suggests a mission um we'll just add the science and or rep or whatever uh through the uh, cheat menu or through the cfg file that so um now i'm not going to play this save every day this is going to be a couple days a week we're going to mess around with rss and other stuff yeah 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 so i i hope we can get this going pretty far um and you know i like to do stuff in real time so we'll see how how much real time we can actually do you know um I potentially could put this on a Luna multiplayer server as well. And potentially, um, seeing how it goes, I could then, and I, I could maybe invite um, people on to help me sometime. So we'll, we'll see where it goes, but this is the be all end all. This is the save that I've been working on for a long, long time. Got all the bells and whistles. And seems to work pretty well it does take it does take a while to load up um but i do have um parallax install i might uninstall parallax uh, before we get too involved because actually guys do you know how to do this how do you turn collisions on in parallax does anyone know because i don't So now the BD arm, the, the BD, um, the blue dog parts mod is very vast and the engines are very powerful, but I don't know shit about these engines. So we need to build um, a lifter for the space program. Okay. Um, and so that's what I think we'll do today. We're going to develop a, a lifting program and we'll let these things scan. We're almost, we're already at 60%. Now I have two of these up here. See, both in polar orbits. Yeah, it's, it's going to be chill, Jay. We got all the visual mods. We got the mads. But you, but, but you can't do it from, I like, there's no way for me just to click on a, a thing and do it here is what I'm asking, right? Fucking old man, I can't see shit anymore. Um so are you saying here guys?
Okay, let's try it. I don't know if it'll... Uh... Uh, oh, I wanted to show you guys something before we start. I'm going to do a long stream today, probably. Unless I get tired, then I'll just stop randomly, abruptly, and stop. <laughs> oh. I want to show you some of the... Um, some of the part mods that we'll unlock as we go um, with um, Blue Dog is amazing. Yeah, I am a master of this chair right here. Might have to restart it for the colliders to work. So check this out, guys. This is so cool. Um, like, look at all of these. Um, like, look at these guys. Oh. Oh. Oh God. Oh God. I know. Be be Shimoda. You're gonna have to put this on you. I mean, come on. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh. Look at this stuff. Oh. I mean, just, just look, just, just look at it, guys. Just look at it. What, what's this guy? Oh. Oh, what is this? Oh, gorgeous. Yeah. Go download Blue Dog. I'm also playing it on the, uh, I'm playing it on the, the most recent version and this works just fine, guys. Works just fine. Look at all these probes, baby. I mean, it it puts this to shame. I'm sorry. I love the Muner. I love this guy. But come on, come on. Yeah, this is the test save. Yep, this is the R and D. So it's, I basically just made a duplicate of that one, then I went in and I edited the CFG file and turned it into a sandbox. So it should be completely accurate. I wonder. Oh, look at the insides of this thing. That's a little funky. Oh, yeah, you can move around in this? Maybe. Huh? 
Yeah, I didn't even know it does. That's blocked. Guys, it's wonderful. I'm gonna try something. Oh, it's wonderful, guys. Oh, that's interesting. So this is forward. That's cool. Oh, wonderful. Oh, it's guys. This is a wonderful, wonderful little mod. Look at this. So, hail, hail, blue dog. I love you, blue dog. I love you, blue dog. Very nice. Very nice, blue dog. The lights are on. What else can it do? It can do... Um, extend antennas. <laughs> well, maybe Lawrence Welk and I have a similar accent. I believe he may have been from uh, New England. I'm old as fuck. But what's extend insulation mean? Now, who understands? Okay, does anybody know persistent rotation? Yeah, Rick, uh, it, it did this. Hold on. Um, it closed the docking port, it looked like. But this is wonderful, guys. So I'm, I'm curious if anyone knows anything about... Well, we're, we'll, we'll figure it out. All right. So, guys, super cool part mods. Um, I'm going to show you some other stuff. We have... Um, this is just the R&D. This is the, the research and development save. So everything's available to us here. Um, we also have some fancy... Uh, Fancy shit, guys. Good work. Things. Now, um, because we have so much technology in the other save i have i have increased the science reward um because we have so many so many more items on the on the on the tree what was that
anyway. So that's just um so RG. Um this is a very special save. This is my um This is my newest my new save, okay? Should turn this off. So this is Blue Shift, which has warp drives and stargates in it. This is Eisenberg airships. This is UFO flying saucer mod. This is BD uh, Blue Dog Armory. Retro Future Crafts. You guys know this one. Question, um, there's this retro future parts mod from Linux Guru Gamer. But whenever I load the default vehicles, they, they, they load in pretty weird. No? But very cool stuff. Um, well, this is about as weird as it gets. Well, I think, I think these are so old that I think there's a part mod that is not, that it has either been so overhauled that the parts have been renamed. And so it, it, it's not able to connect them or the game has changed so much. It's actually moved some of these parts around, which kind of looks like what's happening. You know, but very cool parts, guys. Very cool stuff. Um, I mean, this thing's obviously missing a lot of wing, right? But anyway, this is um, all the parts in here, all, all the part mods, flying saucers. It's so cool, guys. We're gonna be able to make some pretty rad shit, all right? Now, with that said, I am going to release the exact part mod I'm using, RG. And in a couple weeks, we're gonna have a community um, fleet event and you guys will be able to uh, bring uh, your own creations into this save, right? Just like we did before. What better, all right? Okay, so here we go. Get out of the sandbox. I already have, the, yeah, I mean, everything that everyone has submitted, we can already use, but I felt like um, I was gonna have another event where I said everyone can submit stock vehicles because stock will work in here, but the mods are fun. So I figured I would release the mod pack. So if you guys wanted to build with these mods as well, um, but as well, you know, let's 
Yeah, I'm actually gonna make a museum on Discord, and I'm gonna have I'm, I'm gonna put everybody's um at the the a link to the entire fleet there. Okay. Well, I I want to see if I can uh, maybe. I think running pretty hard. Hold on. Let's just go for beautiful. Well, we gotta. Here's the thing. I gotta think. We gotta figure out ways, but we're, we we can stay on target. People stay interested. I stay interested. Um, so, yeah. But yeah, I'll be, um, after we get, I, I guess once we do a couple moon missions, uh, I will then post the mod pack and then you guys can, um, you know, be become, you know, we can all play together in a way. I have a, dude, I have, I have quite the collection of, of people's vehicles and I can use them legally. <laughs> Hold on. See, but the thing, RG, a VTOL you may not know this. A VTOL is very hard to fly. And they're very hard to fly other people's vehicles. Because I did try to VTOL that thing. And it was hard, bro. Hard. All right. Um, all right, we only have the four. You know what? I want to see something. Oh, no, I can only, uh, all right.
All right, I'm making myself. Because I am the streamer, I am making myself a level one to start. Everyone else shall be level zero. That is my thing. And if you do a redeem, you are not creating a Kerbal in the game. You are creating a colonist. Okay, you're sponsoring a colonist. All right, just so everyone knows. Because I don't know how to read. I'll have to, I think I go into the, I think I would have to go into the CFG to rename the colonists, but I'm scared. So we'll figure out a way to keep track of them. You know? So what I need to figure out, guys, is we need to build um, some lifting rockets, all right? They don't have to be reusable yet. Um, they can be quite wasteful, actually. Um, and I'm, I'm wondering, should we build the lifters out of stock material? Or should we build the lifting um, bodies out of uh, the new modded parts? which have a variety of new engines. You want to sponsor somebody, Jay? All right, who do you want to sponsor? I'll let you choose. We'll go to the screen. Here, let's go. Um, now... Jay Gibbs, you can um, you can sponsor a colonist, a miner, a technician, a mechanic, a biologist, a geologist, a farmer, a medic, a quartermaster, or a scout. Pilot, scientist, and engineer are, are, are reserved for, for actual Kerbals. So you get to choose one of those professions, Jay. And I'll make a note of it in my notebook. How about that? For a start. How about that? Make a note in the notebook. Uh, each one has a specific duty in the, um, uh, Bishimoto, I, I, I believe, um, it takes a village, but I don't know exactly, but we could find out. We could find out. Hold on. I'm looking it up right now. Okay, so actually, I can't find it, but I did remember I, uh, not Ice King. Oh my God, it's me. Discount telling me that um, some of these are just like like um, like the technician is like a super engineer. Um, I'm, I'm looking it up right now. Oh, discounts that mechanic can go on EVA. Yeah, discounts an expert on this, guys. Discount will be one of our uh, commanders. Well, in the, down the road. Discount, do you have a document that that says this stuff that we could look it up?
Okay, so they're they're, they're basically um, iterations of the uh, of of the classes. Uh, let me Jay Gibbs. What's the date today? 4 17 24 Yeah, and you can take your time um Okay, we have we, we're not in a hurry. Um one other thing we're going to do is uh should we make the should we make our launch vehicle out of stock parts or should we use all the modded parts? I'm curious to what you guys feel. Let's check it out. <laughs> oh, thank you, Bishamoto. Thank you, buddy. So, Okay, so basically here it is, guys. It's a lot of stuff. Um, so we will need, it looks like we're gonna need one of each, you know? Um, now, Bishamoda, I, I was going to offer command um, slots to all the moderators, but if you'd like, if somebody would like to be a colonist, you can just let me know. I am using the wolf system discount. Only because it 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 um it auto installed. Other than that, I am if I didn't have to, I probably wouldn't install it. But I I feel like it's um probably pretty good. But we can again we can learn how to do it all together. All right, Jay. All right, guys, we have a farmer, guys. Farmer Jay. Hey, no, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Um, so it will use them up well. Well, maybe that's why, um, so Jay is not, so Jay is sponsoring this Kerbal. Well, maybe we could have viewers sponsor more than one even, who knows? 
It eats the Kerbals? Discount? Oh my god. All right. So Jay is the farmer. Jay, I'm, you're going to meet your adopted cur your adopted um colonist, all right? Jay Gibbs has decided to sponsor one of our colonists, guys, and it's going to be a farmer. And we don't know. We don't know who this farmer is, but we're they're going to come in at level 0. Okay? Um 50-50. You ready? Here we go. We got Elman, Elman, Herman. Um, more than just a botanist, farmers specialize in the more advanced diversified food production required by advanced agriculture modules. They contribute to science as well as colonization research. Effects. Experienced in advanced farming and crop diversity. A colonist that in a colonist that increased his science. A colonist that increases reputation. G force tolerance 0.75. Wow, you can sustain five G's. Alright. So J's is E like a a Jewish Kerbal? <laughs> All right. Jay Eelman, let's go, buddy. Team Eelman. All right, we have our first farmer, guys. Yay. Oh. Guys, my my cat, my hat is covered in cat hair. Don't judge me. It's really hard to clean it. Hold on, I gotta, uh... Right, so I'm covered, I'm covered in cat hair. I know you can barely tell, but this thing is just like, I, I can't go out in public. If I go out in public, I have to change this because I look like I have mental issues and I probably live in a house full of spider webs or something. Um, okay. Um, so here's the next question, guys. All right, one minute poll, one minute poll. Quick one. Oh yeah, no, no. I mean, that's part, I mean, Ishimoto, in, yes, life is about judging people. Even if you say you don't judge people, you do. You just don't say it out loud, that's it. Okay, we have one vote for Mod Lifter. With an emotion, living in an omelet paradise. 
That melody is is like Amish paradise. Instead in most our life, living in an Amish. Gangster's paradise. Sorry, not Amish paradise. All right, guys, we have. Well, see how powerful your vote is. One vote decided the entire outcome of the stream. All right, guys. Well, that's what happens, guys. You have to pay attention or you miss the vote, you know? It's a perfect example of how it works. Well, there we go. So here's the thing, guys. All these low-level blue dog um, controls, none of them have... Um, see um none of them can hold positions and that's what i want i'll also show you oh wait i should show you guys the tech tree let's 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 look at the tech tree okay So I have all of I, I I try not to go too far into one area. We get a very well-rounded uh playing style. There you go, discount. There you go. Uh so we have a lot of part mods in here, guys. You can see lots of them. Lots of them. Um, it, as you go down here, um, really, we get the UFOs and... supercomputers and shit. colony stuff what is this and this is blue shift stuff these are warp drives and whatnot or warp ships jump gates bullshit okay crazy stuff we're gonna have a lot of fun so this is where the parts is so we're like we're just beyond like we're on the cusp of some mid-level tech Right? And Jesus Christ, I have to pee again. Absolute yes, Jay. Yep. But I, I have science turned up because we do have new tech nodes to unlock. So, um, I'll be right back. So yes, so we're going to build a lifter though.
All right. So many modded parts, guys. Um, the everything, yeah, everything's early still has. So we need, we're going to have to use, first off, this motherfucker here. So, this guy is our friend. Thank you, Bishamoda, for telling and and Linux Guru Gamer for telling me about this. Yeah, it's it's a very it's very sophisticated. So it allows you to well, I, I think everybody is, but um, this allows you to really cut down. So right now, I'm just I have a lot of parts, but I'm just showing stock stuff, and you can just you can literally switch everything on. Off. Very nice. That does monoprop and that where's the huh I really thought I had the other okay check something out OS oh I also have uh, KOS on here in case we want to learn how to do that Weird. All right. I thought I had a different.
really thought that I had. Oh, we do have this one. That's what I wanted. Um, let's look at the battery options. So there's that. This. Uh, we do need. Prop there. Judge me if you want. I don't care. A very good report doesn't make me want to install it so we're gonna make this thing look like it's got some fucking style bruv There's so many. No, this looks like garbage. Got right there. Now these docking ports, see this looks cool as hell. But the Kerbal docking ports are much better. They, 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 those don't operate the same way. Those aren't really docking ports. They're just connectors. We'll get into all that, bitches.
Here we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. We could even make some magic happen here, guys. Oish. Put that battery there. And this here. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Deal with it. Look at that. We can even double up the... Oh my god, it's... Dude, this is a thing of beauty. It is, I mean, come on. Yes, this is gonna be the, the probe. Each lifter will have its own probe core. So this is gonna be the, um, the core of the lifter. Or, you know, I could do like this. Yes, basically, yep, 1.0. We'll name this, um... Uh, we'll say, I mean, what's a good... You don't have to put anything too heavy up yet. So maybe, what, 10, 10 tons? What's a respectable tonnage to shoot for, guys? Let's see what I have for weight. We'll go with this uh, in the middle, 17. How's that? Okay, there we go. There's our weight. 17 tons. All right, there, we're starting it. Auto strut, what about this piece? Auto strut. All right. So this is a battery. This is monoprop. 
and this is our monoprop here um, We need, where's my friend? And uh, this mod is called um, Janitor's Closet. Amazing. Um, there that um there is a part to So what is the diameter of that thing? One point two five, right? We can mess around with these um, bearings later, but right now what we need is a uh So this is going to be the orbiter the orbiter stage, okay? an engine I believe okay, we'll go to fuel tanks um, Oxygen. Oh, 
Okay, here's the engines. These are gonna, this is gonna be hard. Um, A lot of these are very tiny. This one isn't. Nothing's working. Hey Jim, how you doing? Oh, excellent. Good to hear. Yeah. Um, oh, there we go. Now it works. I guess we had we had to tell it. Although it said there was fuel, we had to tell it. I'm well, Jim. Okay, cool. All right, so engines work now. Yay. Ah, uh, well, I, I, I thought it, you know, I thought about having re real fuels, but, um, Listen, unless you know what you're doing or, or have some inkling, it easily for me became completely overwhelming. I think it just needed me to prompt it because these engines are designed to use the real fuel types. But since I don't want to use the stock ones, we need to figure out which ones are our friends. He 
exactly exactly but i don't know bishimoda i don't know if you're like me but um ask ai chat gpt to help you uh, jim i don't i don't use um i prefer not to use those tools I would rather figure it out. No, it's okay. I mean, a lot of people do. A lot of people do. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Fine. <laughs> wanted to prompt a chuckle from you rough day today no does it look like i'm having a rough day um i'm i sometimes have a resting uh resting uh difficulty face but I i'm usually fine usually happy as the clam underneath here Just very serious. Oh, that's small. Look at that guy. So, if this is a, you know, this is my, these are my favorite orbital engines here. It's not enough. So we need, wow, you need more than that even. Look at that. This guy, this guy do, what's he drink? Oh, yeah 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 we had a um we had a little meeting about it um a few days ago and um we'll have an announcement um probably you know within a week week and a half of when it's going to happen So we're really trying to make something um a very special ksp event to be honest or i'm trying to anyway i'm practicing to make sure the vehicle can do what it needs to do Well, I, I really appreciate that a lot because um, I, it is a cool thing to do. And this is a cool community. And um, a lot of people know about it, but a lot of people don't. So um, we can bring in some new faces. I, I would love that. You know? I mean, we're always getting new. I mean, look at, we got, I mean, Face Chip is doing basically the same thing Urban and me and Discount and Matt and all these guys here are doing. You know? What's up, Labad? So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to build a lifter with these uh, new mod packs I have. You guys are curious. And so I'm building a lifter with the new modded parts so we can um, start doing some contracts. So I'm trying to I'm trying to get to know like 
Like, what is this fucking thing? Super cool. Jesus, it's big. Ooh, this might be it. No, it takes about, about 10 minutes for the first boot up. But that's, this is the mod pack that I've been eyeing for a very long time. And this is the exact way I want to play KSP, you know? So, and we won't, guys, we're not going to be doing this all the time. We're, we'll, we'll be, do, we'll be coming, we'll be doing other stuff, but we'll, we'll be orbiting around this save for quite a while. Jim, if you um, if you Google Blue Dog KSP mod part mod, uh, I think you'll be very very impressed. Why doesn't this this should do it? That barely does it. Wow. Okay. All right. Guys, we're, we're going to get this thing working just fine. Yep. Yeah. It's um it's one of the parts that you use for the um realistic progression. Um the capsules are just and it mixes so nicely with USI colony um, odds um, that it's going to be nice. And we have Jim, we have Flying Saucers, we have Blue Shift, we have Persistent Rotation, uh, we have Life Support. It's going to be amazing. So, Welcome to the next six to ten months of the stream. Well, that's a beefy engine. The Prometheus. Yeah, yep, that's absolutely correct. So I'm, hey, Webmaster Crowley, I'm trying to build something with a, a new part pack.
It's not one, two, look at, that is not 1.25. Lies. I mean, look at the detail on this stuff, guys. It's so good. Well, that is. Well, that's a guidance unit. Oh, the, this part mod is so nice, bro. It's so nice, bro. I want to use different parts, but normal Fuel tank, motherfucker. That's huge. 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 Normie. All right, there's your classic FL Normie. Okay. Go here. Where's the stock engine? Well, that won't even do it. That won't even do 17 tons in orbit. So we need a better engine. my fairing yeah everything's different guys I, I have to figure out how to use the um, the decouplers different see like that's fucked up right it's not gonna work
I want that. Like, look at this thing. How cool this little guy is. Look at that little guy. Gonna do it. That will barely do it. Okay. For 270, that's not even, that's not acceptable. Thing's huge, but not gonna do that. So what I'm trying to do, guys, is design a 17-ton lifter out of modded parts. I'm having a hard time, actually. Um, which is okay.
don't have that yet. All right. Uh... Dear Lord, oh my God, Urban Venture, Little Shark Twenty One, holy shizzoli, guys! For a mission of the utmost importance. One mission. My Save poor soul just leapt from my from my little space loving corpse. <sighs> Sharky, it's okay. My moderator settings are messed up. Please, it's okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know why the caps did that, guys. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Hold on, hold on. Sharky, my apologies. It's not supposed to do that. Not supposed to do that. So, uh... Please mind the work, the mess. Oh, Urban, I'm working on a lot. Um, uh, we have a new project here. This is what it's what it's called. It's a, a, a very highly modded save. That's right. All right, little sharky, we're gonna do a little jam. I haven't done jam yet today, so that's what we're gonna do. All right. Yeah, if you type uh, KSP mods mod list, uh, a big mod list will come up, and it's pretty awesome.
Corbin, the Ray. Thanks, everybody. We're sharing with you the gift of music, everybody, and the gift of KSB. So, hey, guys. Uh, well, um, Lost Inc., we're going to, um, when we go to the moon, we're going to absolutely do that. We'll make our own dark side, dork side of the moon. How's that? So guys, this is a, a brand new save. Brand new. Brand new. Um, I've been... Um, I've been collecting um, this mod for a while. This has uh, Heisenberg airships. It has flying saucers. It has blue shift warp engines and stargates. It has, um, nope, Jeb's brand new guys. Um, it has USI colonies. It has persistent rotation. Um, in other Kerbal games, I've added Kerbals as the flight crew. But in this urban, people are going to be able to sponsor colonists in our colony. Like Jay Gibbs sponsored a farmer. So, um, yeah, this is a this is a new take on. This is sort of my be all end all of Kerbal saves. You want to bark at the moon, guys? I was learning that. That's really hard, actually. Oh, I'll show you. Oh, dude, it's awesome. Now, I was going to reserve... I was going to reserve the flight crew to be commanders like moderators and, and special VIPs, but people can choose to be colonists if they'd like. I'll, uh, there is a, I have a um, discount engineer posted something for us. Who's always, the, he's the best. Show you guys. All right, guys, hold on. I'm a noob. All right. So, um, these will be, the top three here will be reserved for uh, VIPs and moderators. And you guys, through a redeem system, can choose to be, to sponsor I can't name you guys these, but you can sponsor colonists and you will choose their um, vocation, okay? And right now, Urban, I'm trying, there's a part mod called B Blue Dog Part Mod. And it is the part mod of all part mods. It's amazing. The, the detail and artistry that goes into each one of these is, is great. So I have that installed. And um, I'm trying to build a lifter using those parts instead of the stock parts. Well, that's what we're doing right now. So um, you guys like that sort of thing? Uh, no. Um, there's a point redeem, if you, if you look under the redeems, um, it says join the colony. Okay, so anyone, anyone can join. It'd be nice if you followed the, it'd be nice if you followed the page. It'd be nicer if you subbed, to be honest, but uh, if you hang out and participate, you can be part of the experience. All right. 
So Urban, you're, um, what would you like to be? What would you like to be, sir? We have a farmer already. Now, Urban, since you are a a a, a moderator and a friend and a subscriber, uh, you can be a pilot, a commander, but you could also be a colonist. Um, well, I don't know. It's really your personal preference. It's really your personal preference. So, um, take a look. I mean, they have like, like, take a moment, guys. Check it out. Like, they have stats. Okay. All right, we do need scout. I mean, actually, Urban, you would. Uh, all right, Urban's gonna be a scout. You're gonna do a scout. So you're gonna. Um... Right now, I can't name the Kerbals, but I may edit the save file after but so so urban right now you're gonna sponsor a um a kerbal okay you have to hold on save urban's gonna sponsor well little sharky if you hang out collectively for i think if it's an hour and a half They'll make enough to um, purchase a character. Okay. Not not a big commitment. You could even go AFK. Um. All right. Urban is so. What we're doing is so courage, stupidity, fifty fifty, always, and. Uh, everyone's gonna start at level zero, so we'll have to level them up. All right. So, Urban, thank you for your redeem and join the colony and um, sponsoring one of these brave, brave Kerbals. So, and what are we gonna get? We don't know. It could be anything. So, here is Urban Ventures sponsored Kerbal. Ready? A scout in three, two, one. Dumal Kerbin. Scout. Dunmal. He's like a, a Scottish, a, like a, a Scottish man. All right. Hey, Urban, thank you so much. Welcome to the, um, welcome to the colony. Now in this cave, guys, I have the probes before crew. So everything is gonna be done with probes first. Okay, it's gonna take a while. Hope you're ready. Well, look at that. We have two colonists, guys. Should we put Urban in? Sleek. Well, orders, urban orders are orders. Orders are orders. Yeah, we. Hey, do you hear the? Do you hear the pool ball? Do you hear the pool balls? Do you hear them playing pool? That's just me. So, guys, I'm currently doing a mission. Um. Thank you, Bishamoda. We're, we're currently doing some, um, guys. 
Can I just talk about how amazing uh, ScanSat is for a moment? We're, cert we're, we're currently doing some um, low resolution scans of the planet. Yeah, Urban, this is the mod of all mods. This is the mod that I, this is the game I wanna play. I want warp drives. I want flying saucers. I want airships, you know? I want persistent rotation. I want life support. I want colonies. I want resource refinement. And I want cool looking fucking capsules, okay? And Blue Dog, Parts mod has the best looking uh, capsules in the world. I guys, you may not know this about me. I have a really bad kidney stone problem and I have to pee all the time. So I will be back. Also, guys, in the um, in the coming weeks, I will I will release the actual part pack for this game that I'm using, and we will have a community uh, fleet challenge, and you guys will be able to um, provide vehicles um, to the save. Okay. All right. So what I'm doing now is I'm building a non-stock. Uh, lifter that we can use so I'm trying to explore the engines a bit I did make a um, a lifter but it's not it's nothing special So, but what I'm doing here is this is a weight. This is a 17 ton weight. Oh yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't disagree with you. Definitely don't disagree with you. I mean, I don't dislike KSB one at all. Or, I mean, I don't dislike KSB two at all. In fact, I find it to be a very um, promising game. But this is the KSP two or KSP one I want to play. Um.
So, if you'll see, guys, look at all these engines we have. Um, now... I really don't want to use the stock engines, but I really don't know what else to use right now. Like that won't even do it. so many see this is the hard thing about part mods is sometimes there's so much stuff it's hard to know what to use That's a big, that's a big boy right there. Vacuum, 166. Uh, this is just to orbit. I'm trying to make something that um, will just bring these, bring 17 tons to orbit. So about um, 70 to 80, 70 to 85 uh, kilometers. I'll show you guys i'll show you the all right i'll show you the the crappy one i made earlier or last night i made this last night Um, 
this was sort of it it's not pretty it's not it's it's nothing but it worked you know so this was just to get um a satellite up there so let's um yeah yeah I, I, well I'm, I'm taking so guys sometimes i hate to do this on stream because i feel like i take so long um but let me launch this so you guys can see what's going on Jesus Christ, what a hack I am. Um, all right. So I did the other ones. Okay, we'll do another polar one. We'll do another polar one. Why not? Um,. Uh, Sharky, I can, I have, uh, I spent entire weeks in the VAB. So, I'm trying to, uh, get more done, you know? that launch tower huh Right, gentlemen we're gonna launch this mission we're gonna put another i guess we can always use a relay so i'm gonna put a third polar observer up there okay just so you get an idea of what's going on here oh yeah matt Lown. oh legend legendary legendary dude Guys, is it, is it, should I do two pots of coffee? Should I do a second pot of, <laughs> of coffee? All right, guys. Yeah, it's going to need it. going to need it. Pet sitting. Now go get that coffee, bro.
actually these that FARC really changes stuff. I mean, I have this one, but I felt like I, I just sort of put whatever the most powerful engines were, and, and I didn't really build one. And that, that that's what I want to do, guys. I, I want to really build something um, special. Because I, I know very little about this engine. Yeah, that's the real uh that's this mod guys if, if anyone doesn't know um it's a wonderful mod uh makes the game really really nice all right let's go for a circularization guys Okay, that's good enough for now.
Oh, we should have done this mission. All right, we'll do this mission next with this lifter. All right. So basically, guys, what I have here, as you can see, is I have a lattice work of of polar orbiters. Well, I was watching, you know, Matt Comart play last night, and uh, this is what I was doing. Any science? We got all this. If something docks with this, I want this to retain its naming priorities. I'm going to move it up one. Cool. Oh, I didn't know that was a... All right, guys, we're going to recircularize. Mm -hmm. Hey, Bad Panda, how you doing? Now you'll notice this is a great orbit for scanning because you stay in a in a in a straight orbit and the, and the world just spins underneath you. What's on the menu discount? Oh, yeah. I'm about to circularize again. What what's not better than that? Here we go, guys. Ready? All right, there we go. Perfect. Rhubarb crumble. And there we are, guys. We are almost done our, our low resolution scan of planet Kerbin. Oven, oh God. So hungry. Oh my god. All right, I'm gonna have some coffee guys. I'll be right back and you can enjoy this lovely view urban No, nope, this is the normal save We have three um, probes to map out the sky with. You can see we have three, three probes orbiting the planet. Sixty three point six percent.
So because this is a low level scan, so everything's just in black and white. As we progress, things will become much more detailed. We'll be able to locate things specifically. It'll be really cool. Um, So yeah, pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. All right, I'm going to make that coffee and I'll be right back. We'll keep the sun out of everyone's eyes. How's that? I'll be right back, guys. Oh, a rhubarb is a delicious pie filling. It's a sweet and tangy vegetable. Uh, I don't know what it is. It's like a tasty broccoli or something. Weird. It's a delicious. It's not broccoli. It's like a tasty. It's like a, a sweet celery. Delicious. Yeah, and uh, Orion Rogue, I'll, I'll be right back, guys. I'm just grabbing some more coffee and stuff. Oh shit, Orion, I'm so sorry. I apologize, man. Um, the moderator settings are not supposed to do that at all. If I can switch it. Hey, um, can someone spam some emotes and see if it blocks them? Because I just switched it. I wonder if it does it in real time. All right, there we go. There we go. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. There we go. Yes, here we go. There we go, guys. That's the real fun. I mean, let's be honest, guys. Discord, I mean, I mean, Twitch is all about the fucking emojis culture. Let's be real. Let's be real. Can I be real for a moment? Hey, Invoker, I went and checked out that dude. He's an awesome dude. I forget the guy's name. Yeah, no, emojis are it, man. You go watch a YouTube post, it's different, bro. It's different. Listen, guy. Listen, listen, cuz. 
Yeah, no, I mean, uh, we have a lot in common. <laughs> and he didn't play guitar for me right away, so I assume he's probably very good. Not showing off. Got that big guitar player energy. Emote only, guys. Go for it. Go for it. Show your t show your emotes. Emote like you mean it. Ishimoto won an emoji showdown, and then he got his his, and then he got his um, winning item, porch pirated from his front porch. True story. One of his neighbors has an Ice King of Space coffee mug. I guarantee it. Oh my god oh my god look at these emojis oh my god it's like a real stream guys I feel like a real streamer oh my god where am i are right, you guys ready for some fun Who's ready for some fun? Because you gotta if you gotta go somewhere else. This is a no fun stream, guys. Number one, no fun Kerbal stream. Right here. Long, methodical, visually stunning yet boring. Coffee induced. There might be guitar, we don't know. Hey, Matt, you never know when Master of Puppets could be unleashed, guys. You never know. Oh, guys, we're making progress on the scan. I won't lie, man. It, it, it has taken me my whole life to play Master of Puppets, and seeing seven-year-old children play it while they're while they're beating a rubik's cube doesn't it does not feel good it does not feel good this is not the future i signed up for <laughs> motherfucker guys all right Let's do another launch. Let's do this mission I have to do. How about that? We'll do the mission with, with this launcher because it works. I mean, this episode is called Fighting for the Future. So we're literally trying to fight for existence in the future of this save. Okay? Oh, I know. No, it's 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 crazy. It's crazy, dude. 
no, he was doing the Rubik's the Rubik's cube with his feet. Okay, so I it, it could be fake. I don't know. Anyway, anyway. Uh -huh. So many missions. All right. See, what we could do. Yep. But I think it's not reverse Spanish, but reserve re reverse Mexican Spanish. So Yeah. Well, it does it, it is there is a significant difference to it. You know. Mm-hmm. Except that one. All right, this mission requires a Bell LBTV SC93. Okay, we can do this. I think we can do this. Although I don't like this rocket. It's it's the only rocket we got, guys. I'm sorry. Are you reading off? No, no. No. But I do get the joke. I like a good humor. I like a good humor. <laughs> no, it sounds like it. No, we're getting, we need this part here, guys. See? So when they say ATV, does that mean autonomous vehicle? Why do they say autonomous? Why, why is the... It's not ATV. It's not that ATV. I know that. I launch a new LEO ATV. Does, it, it doesn't even fucking matter. All right. Uh, all right. I mean, that vehicle does everything else it should do, so I don't know why it wouldn't do this. The police are coming. They're, har they're after somebody. All right, we got that. Well, if we're going to leave this in orbit.
Perhaps it could do some science for us. these do um, 15 Kerbal to Mars oh impressive do you mean Mars or Duna God, it's either so much shit, I don't know what the fuck this shit is. real solar system that's cool i have uh i have a real solar system install but i'm gonna play with it off stream a bit uh so i can get the hang of it before i, I do it on stream all right let's put this guy on here cool though the fact that we could there's games that we can do this in it's uh very amazing that done. um what can i put in orbit that i don't already have that'll give you some goddamn science that I fucking understand. How about that? Oh, yeah, no. This was my, uh, when I was a kid, I, I dreamt about this stuff, man. I think we all did. Like, this shit deploys weird, man. Um...
you bro yeah uh what year did ksp come out i mean when i was a kid the only way you did this was you went to school for it or you made model rockets in your backyard and that was it there's nothing, nothing, nothing like this. I wish it would tell me what company. All right. Oh my God, guys, are we ready to risk nothing? Let's risk nothing. This time we'll go for a easterly, an easterly orbit. But hold on, we need a, it, this has to be a lot higher. Oh yeah, but little Sharky, KSB2 is gonna offer proper multiplayer. And uh, for that, I mean, think about this, little Sharky. Um, zipping around the KSC let in Mario Kart or little planes or, or big planes. Um, with weapons mods and you name it. Um, no, it's going to, that's exactly, I mean, it, there's going to be an element that it turns into that. Absolutely. Um, but in order to pull off that colony shit, I think it's going to be very, very grindy. And you're going to have to work with other people. Absolutely. And for people like us, like streamers like us, um, it's going to be a great thing because we're going to be able to accomplish stuff with the community uh, and put a lot of time into it. And uh, I, I mean, I know there's there's talk behind the scenes of a few streamers getting together and having a um, big a big old space world. Yeah, Luna, well, Luna's never going to be that. Luna's never going to be that. I mean, Luna's fun. But I've had good Luna experiences where I'm coordinating extremely well with another person. But the minute you don't have that coordination, Luna multiplayer is a fucking shit show, you know? Where you get some asshole spawning in a 25,000 part ship, you know?
<laughs> and the thing is, on from my per perspective, it looked amazing. But when Bishimoto went back, it did not look amazing. So, um, oh yeah, everything's fine, Sharky. We're good to go. We're cooch in the gooch. Uh, no, no, I have. My brother has a VR setup, and I did this space station VR simulation, and I actually got sick. So, um, I don't know if VR is, is the thing for me. Oh shit, what is the, uh, 144, the highest I could get. Yeah, probably. I mean, I was, I had been drinking and eating and, you know, it was like a Christmas party. But please, please don't do that. Don't, 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 don't. Please don't say that in chat, Sharky. I'm gonna revert, okay? I don't know what just happened.
okay, yeah. All right. Well, let's hope for a better, better launch, guys. Okay, bye bye. No. Tin cans only twenty bucks. Okay. I would buy it, but every single game I buy takes me away from playing Kerbal. I got you a little sharky. It's just comments like that. Um, again, uh, they, they can be way taken out of context, so um, that's all. Just want to be careful. You're not watching Bishimoda, you're literally not having fun and learning shit. Mm -hmm. Well, little Sharky, it's just, it's, um, you know, we are communicating with a lot of people at once, so in, in any, any instance that that happens, there, there's going to be crazy shit that happens. Canned Tuesday. What is today? Today Tuesday? I don't even know. Oh, it's yesterday. We got it, buddy. Oh, please toot your horn, bit discount. I mean, uh, Bishimoto. Please do. You're, you, you have a. Uh... I do, but what is it? Shit. Oh shit! Oh shit! We're doing a mission. I forgot. Well, I mean, just all right, here we go. Um, hey, Dallas. Oh, my God, it's the legendary Pelu. Wow, what is up, bro? What is up? Thank you for the raid, Pelu.
me a, a, we'll do some music after I uh, circularize. Uh, no, this is uh, This is a, a highly modded uh, I'll show you in a second let me get to my orbit Uh, this is a a highly modded uh, game that I've developed. This is the first episode. Um, and um, here's I, I made a poster for it. Here's the poster. So basically gonna be everything I've ever wanted to do in Kerbal Space Program. Well, I'll bet watching Paylu will help. All right, let's figure this out. Let me turn uh, the visuals up. You know, Dyson Sphere seems like a game I should be able to get into. Um, it's a little under a hundred. It's actually for for a proper modded playthrough. It's pretty slim All right, well here we are Now we need to Adjust our apoapsis and our Eccentricity that's it so let's do that. So 91 and Yeah, yeah. No, this is a big one. Um, but right now, I have a a stock play uh, community uh, game. We have this one, and I have a realism overhaul that I'm going to be dipping into here and there. We have a lot of Kerbal. But this is basically the mod it say, the modded save that I want to play. It's got everything I want to do in it. And if you hang out little Sharky for a while, in a couple weeks, I'm going to post the mod pack. You'll be able to download it. And um, we're going to uh, let people build vehicles for the save. So, uh, here's the 
you're into that sort of thing, stick around. But it will be a couple, I mean, we're, we're gonna be doing this for six months. All right, so. One forty five. Now I need this to be ninety. Yeah, right? There's only one way to get all the nice tool and um Oh yeah, and guys, we have um I almost I almost wanted to have um Principia in this game. But I talked myself out of it. So we I have this function called persistent rotation. So we can turn certain objects so they're always like space stations, so they're always spinning and whatnot. Um, and I have the FARC uh, aerodynamics modeling enabled. So the aerodynamics are a little different than the stock game. So we're gonna raise this up to 91.6. Here, let's try to do this. Ooh. Um, well, I use, um, I use CCAN. Well, I'll use CCAN to compile the uh, the game folder and then I'll move the game folder away from CCAN so it won't update things so it's like a, a snapshot so for every save I have I have a separate game client installed in a folder so each one is its own separate game instance look we got some science guys Major Dallas. He was and it's a, a legendary the king motherfucking dog mission. speed. Oh god, I forgot to play music. Guys, I'm I'm slacking. I'm slacking. Mr. Dog Speed, what's up, bro? Guy, we love King Dog Speed. speed i don't know how to do this we're getting raided guys we're we're the target we're the target of raids guys we're being raided guys we're targeting us it's happening space chip how you doing bro what's up guys let's rock and roll
Let's not, let's be honest. Let's be honest. I got a little self-indulgent. I did. I did. I did. I indulged too deep, guys. I indulged too deeply. I indulged too deeply in the riffage. I know, I, I know it. I know it. Thank you guys for all those follows. I did forget to do my maneuver though. Okay, uh, hold on. I have to rate prograde. Oh, uh, go. Hey, techno freak, how you doing? Hold on. You gotta raise this to ninety-one. Ooh, I almost forgot. We're working on the Dewey High rock levels, guys. <laughs> guys, we were just hanging out, minding our own business, and we get raided. By everybody and their mother, literally. We're getting raided by everyone and their mom, and we're getting followed by Saturn One B. Like, I don't know about how your day's going. Mine's going pretty damn good, right? So, guys, uh, I'm playing a very modded uh, save here. Here's the artwork I made for this. It's called Airships and Aliens. Um. Got all the Kerbal mods that I'd ever want to use. If you look here. Huge list of mods. This is the first stream of this save. So we're, uh, we're doing some basic missions and setting up the infrastructure. So right now, I have to adjust my apoapsis. So that's 91.666, so I need to... Huh. Need to bring it in? Hold on, I'll bring this one down first, okay?
We'll try that. <clears throat> Go for it. Here we go. Look, we're right above the Kerbal Space Center, guys. Oh my God, I love that. All right, let's see if we can do this. What is it? One, four, four. So it's very low, uh, very low thrust. All right, that's the best I can do. 144. Jesus Christ, man. That's a that's a precise ass orbit. Holy shit. Do you think it'll give it to me? Oh, I love, I love KSB music. It's purity. Now I need, okay. So I need to tighten up my, I need to tighten up my orbit, right? All right, four, one, four, four, six, eight.
Quick save. So wait, is my eccentricity how circular my orbit is? Or is the eccentricity referring to where the orbit is in relation to the planet? Because this isn't changing. But I just cleaned up this. <laughs> Eight by four bear. But I, I, I just cleaned this up and I didn't see any, I didn't see this change. Nine one six. I am nine one six nine three. Oh shit, shit, oh my God, guys, oh my God, I'm an idiot. I was thinking that my, okay, okay. Yep, I got it, I got it. Listen, I would, listen, I made my orbit, look at 91, 91, 144. All right, all right, we got this, I got this. Okay. Yeah. No, I I uh, I don't know why I was thinking that, but um Okay, well, at least we know listen. Guys, we learned that today. That's cool. Now we know. We know more. No, I was just assuming it said apoapsis of this and periapsis of this. I don't know why. From where you are, burn radial in, and you can reduce apoapsis and raise PE at the same time. Oh yeah, this is, is this the sweet spot right here in the middle? So wait, what are you saying? Radial in, so you mean this. Right? Radial in, all right. All right, so.
I'm just gonna watch the eccentricity move. See how that goes. It needs 45 seconds. Oh, below one. Hold on. Below one. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. See, you got to read these things like they're fucking magic cards. Nice. Nice, guy. A rare event, Ice King doing contracts. Not so rare. It's going to be more, more or less rare in the future. Oh, yeah. Well, good thing we have a docking port. Shut this down. Hold on, we, uh... Oh, that looks wonderful, huh? Oh, it looks wonderful. Okie dokie. Um, I, I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. It's all set. 
Do your thing, analyze, stop scan, activate Geiger counter, scan trencher. All right, this is doing a scan. Yippee ki yay, motherfucker. All right. Guys, give me a pat on the back. Come on, I'll take it. I'll take it. Don't pat too hard, guys. I'm a lot more fragile than I look. I think we can unlock some tech. And we're going to let Bishamoda choose. Nope, maybe nine. Can we? Yes. All right, Bishamoda. You are. Been helping me out. So you get to choose, buddy. Propulsion systems, fuel systems, subsonic flight, advanced flight control, simple command pods, space exploration, or mini miniaturization. And I'll be right back. We'll go over them again. Okay. Or we can save it. It's your choice, sir. Look. Probably down here, huh? All this stuff, apparently. EVA experiments can unlock a lot. A lot of fun for our colonists to do. See, um, I don't know how this is going to work. Apparently, there's a way to upgrade stuff. And uh, I'm, I'm interested in, in uh, figuring out that. But I don't know if this, this might be, it might be displaying all the parts fully upgraded to me. I'm not sure. But we'll do this one. All right. Bishamoda, you have chosen miniaturization. Let it be known that this choice is yours and yours alone. You are not pressured into this choice by myself or a chat member. Is that correct? Do you legally stand by this decision now and for in perpetuity in the perpetuity of time? He so affirms, guys. You are all you all bear witness. You have legal authority. Okay. Ishimoto has now changed the state of reality forever in this game. Now let's go look at the parts we unlocked. <laughs> and we need another mission. But we're going to do... All right, guys, here's here's how I operate. Anything that's like tested on the launch pad, we do it immediately, okay? Uh -huh. 
the tt 38k radio decoupler we're doing it oh, yeah. oh, wow. any mission so guys a big thing in this is going to be um these art missions and testing missions we're gonna have to do a lot of these uh missions so i hope you guys are into it PT 38K. Let's get some experience for the fucking Kerbals, guys. Um, Pilots, we also need scientists. So the badly. They okay, landed at Kerbin. Done. Let's go. This is the, the power shaver. It's dead. My phone is dead, guys. I have a dead phone. All right, let's go. We did the contract.
We have recovered. So, let's find a new contract. Now, um, now everybody, I'd like your opinion on anything. Um, now, Either we continue with the scan sat stuff. So these are all about specific parts. So that's cool. I don't mind that. Oh my God. Who is Marco? Thank you so much for that follow, Marco. I assume it's you. So, um... Okay, these are with a these would be with a plane. Um, so I'm thinking conduct observational surveys. Now I do like these missions a lot. Um, I love rescue missions. But we would have to design a rescue mission vehicle. That would take a while. Um, I love all these ones. I mean, these we should we should focus on the blue dog stuff because. Um, Okay. Um, uh, so what we can do is I guess we're we're set up to put probes up. So let's I mean we should just continue doing probe missions. Um it's only going to help in the future. 
Um, because we'll have we'll have comms and relays set up and whatnot, and it'll eventually help us with our KOS when we use that um, to start practicing scripting and whatnot. So. Little shark is here. Oh, lurk away. I mean, guys, herbal is is a lurker's paradise. We all know it. We know it. We live it. I lurk too. Living in a lurker's paradise. Can't stand in motionless in a, in a lurker's paradise. All right, so Oh, this is like a this is a cold war. Listen to this. Welcome back, commander. We have just intercepted an encrypted transmission suggesting that our rivals, those crummy Russians, may have set up suspicious new activities in several areas on Kerbin. Our covert ops units are out of reach. So we want you to get up there and take a picture of the suspicious areas, you see? If there's any crushing activity there, we will know it. Oh, and you will have to return the film canister back to base. We haven't figured out how to get the black and white into ones and zeros yet. So that's my 1920s announcer voice guy for our Herbal Space. Well, apparently, we're not Russians. All right, we're well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're gonna do all of this shit. Okay, with this one. This one. We'll take all the blue dog, guys. We're going we're going full blue dog. That's awesome, Bishimoto. Also, I know we did some elite with Matt. I would like to do some elite too. Um, 
So if anybody's up for some elite, reach out to me. I gotta plug my phone in. I, I forget, I'm a married guy. I should have my phone on. All right. Um Yeah, we're going to get we're going to get Teagle too. Wait. The Teagle, if I do rescue missions, they could be colonists. But we need to rescue people. Oh. Okay, so what do we got? We got... We unlocked miniaturization. which would allow us to do some more science. Unlock a bunch of other stuff, probably. Chicken butt. 42. Little Sharky. Thank you. All right. Trouble waiting for launch. The candles light up, up, up. Will it? Hey. I, I, I like that reference there, CFT. Very much so. Very good Wonka shit. All right, little Sharky. Uh, mechanic. All right. You know it. Little Sharky. No, no, we got to go. We got to go somewhere else. Hold on. All right, little Sharky. Thank you for your redeem and joining the colony and you are sponsoring. Remember this Kerbal's name because you are their sponsor, okay? Okay, ready? Little Sharky is sponsoring Ken Bro Kerman, the mechanic. Welcome to the colony, Ken Bro. And guys, um, I guess right now I have it so people can, um, every stream you can sponsor a Kerbal. I don't know if that, if I should do that or not. We'll see. Let's learn about Kembro a little bit. Um, Mechanic can repair broken equipment as well as perform geological research. Specs. A colonist can increase funds. G 
G-Force Tolerance, 0.75, G-Force Endurance, 0.94, and Maximum Sustained G's, 5.1. Welcome to the cruise, Ken bro. All right, we gotta build some shit, guys. We gotta build. Oh shit, we, we finished our mission. Okay, oh shit. Oh, it's not done yet. Almost. Almost. Oh, yeah. 73. Almost done, guys. Okay. So, let's figure this out. Well, you know what, guys? Sharky, it's up. I'm going to work on it. I'm going to raid a friend of mine who's just starting his stream up. Um, and um, I, I realize it's 4 o'clock already. I don't really have much more time to go. Um, but we're going to raid my buddy, and um, I'm going to see you guys later. Uh, I hope you guys don't... Oh, CFT, we'll have more. We'll have more. I'll be back tomorrow. Um, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be really good. And uh, uh, guys, if you guys, I hope you guys, uh, I if you if you like having a good time, you, you're gonna have to not go to this raid because it's a lot of fun over there. Uh, so if if you like having fun, I'm I'm sorry, guys. But Matt's playing some, um, what's he playing? Some RimWorld? Uh, Matt's a good friend and a, an amazing Kerbal player. So uh, go check him out, and I'll be hanging out. I'm going to build some stuff, and we'll continue more of this. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for all the raids, guys, from Discount Urban, uh, Space Chip, King Dog Speed. And I know there was another raid in there that I didn't even see because things were happening so quickly. 
and all the follows. It's amazing, guys. Thank you so much. Um, I'll probably start my stream later tomorrow. So um, I'll see you guys later and have a good one. Say hi to Matt for me. <laughs>